Hey, look who we got over there. We got Mr. Kinger from Swagger Bypod. Well, it's just, uh, I think it's 117 degrees. Probably closer than what you think. It is extremely hot. When we come in, it actually said 101 degrees on the truck. But it's, uh, what time is it, Jeff? Seven o'clock? That's seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah. It has cooled down a little bit. It's, it's a nice, crisp 99 <laughs> now. So, hey, you might be laughing there watching this, you know, at home. But we're fixing to call a cow. Y'all come along with us. Hey, look who we got over there. We got Mr. Kinger from Swagger Bipods. Let's see if we can't show him some coyotes. Y'all come along with us. He just standing there. He just stood right up. He ain't 70 yards. Oh, I got him. I got him. Hold on a second. Let's see what he does here. That is an ugly coyote. Oh, God, he is horrible. He just keeps turning his head like a... I guess we could kill him and then, then keep on a call and see if we call something else. Just go ahead and kill him, Josh. Oh, oh. There he is, get him again. Whoop, 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 whoop. I got him, I'm on him. I do not. Hey, that He's looks, close. He's that's like pretty. 120 yards. Oh, I think it's him. He's coming good. He's on my side of the fence. Oh, shoot. He's right there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Good shot. We just need to get him a little close. Josh, no matter what happens after this, the the trip for you up to Kansas wasn't a dry run. You've got to shoot at two coyotes already. <laughs> what happened was, on that first shot? I don't know. I'd been sitting on him for so long. I can just make other excuses. I don't know. I think I just shot over him. Yeah, it was making him, was making him wait there. He was... Those curly ears were distracting me. I think I just <laughs> had some old floppy ears. What do you think, Jeff? You set us up in the right spot, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, he did. That turned out good. This this cop got closer. I'm looking in the camera. I don't realize this how close they were. Just 30 yards, oh, yeah. 35 yards. See, I lost it. I was looking at this tree. The OT post trick, Jeff. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gets them every time, don't it? It sure does. Man, he is pale. Look, he's almost he's light. Pick that thing up. See what we got there, Jeff. You want to go towards the side? That's right. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Two pointer. Got a big white tip on his tail. <laughs> Art shot, wasn't no returning from that. Nope. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, bro. That's one down. We'll see if we can't uh, show Josh uh, a few more coyotes. I really, I 
I really wanted to see what was going on with that coyote's ears. That coyote, it stood up. That you know, we weird. howled. He wasn't the fourth or fifth howl. That coyote stood up just 60 or 70 yards in front of the colony. He had, looked like he had one broke, floppy, floppy ear. But anyway, I'd say he's a great big old male. Anyway, we got, what's that in there? Is that a female? Is that a little male? Female. 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 Yep, dry female. So anyway, we on the board here in Kansas. Man, what a crazy couple of days of coyote hunting. Been dealing with some triple digit temps. We had our good friend Josh Kenzer from Swagger Bipod Paws joining us for a, for a day or so. We showed him several coyotes. He's only able to kill one though. We caught in a ton of them. Coyotes back door us. All kinds of crazy stuff. Just every bad luck call in you can think of. But anyway, me and Jeff decided to stay in here for another afternoon. See if we can't get us another coyote or two down. We're actually fixing to make our last stand. Ooh, bunch of deer running off here. But anyway, sunset stands. The sun is setting right now. Get here and get to calling. See what we can make happen. Y'all stay tuned. Come along with us right here. Get another one. That guy will come a long ways off. Came right by us. Yeah, I got him. I'm on him now. That's it. Yeah, right there if you can get him. I'm on him good. Hold on. somewhere if we can find them. That one just slipped in with him and see. Right here's our, this is actually the second coyote we shot. The first one was standing down here and run up through there. This one actually did a big loop. Right there's the other coyote. Yeah. This is a male and he was a loud mouth sucker. Look here, Jeff. Shot Perfect right in the heart, coyote, which yeah. you know, a lot of times a heart shot coyote run a little bit. We're gonna speed through this because we run out of life. The other coyote it looks pretty little. It's an adult, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's an adult. Look here, Jeff. Another perfect it's a show. heart shot as well. Mm -hmm. This is the time of year when you can get into some uh, young of the year coyotes, but these both right here are adults and they've actually come from a long ways off. This is, as you can tell, sunset stand. But uh, man, they have a long ways off, isn't yeah. it, Jeff? Probably yeah. 
I thought they probably wouldn't come too far. But anyway, uh, perfect way to finish out our trip right here in Kansas with Jeff Ryder. A nice double. Thanks for joining us right here on Fox Pro Hunting TV.